Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome little clutch. And you can see this one is in this envelope shape. Um, and yeah, I really love the way it looks. I really love the angle here. And yeah, it's super easy to make. And I think this fabric also is very lovely and I'm excited to wear it. So I want to show you how you can do something like this on your own and for yourself from any fabric that you have or would like to use. So it's going to be super easy to do. Even if you're a beginner, you can practice a little bit because all of the stitches are going to be really easy to do. And then you'll also get a great result in the end. So you can do some zippers or Velcro or some buttons on here to keep it closed. But for now, I just kept it real simple to show you. Okay, so let's get started right away. Stay tuned. So we're going to need an outside piece of fabric, an inside piece of fabric, some pins or clothes pins, fabric scissors, and something to measure with. And optionally, you can use an iron, but you don't have to, so that's completely up to you. Okay, so first we need two rectangles, and I have here 25 times 30 centimeters. So the height of the clutch is going to be the 25 centimeters, and then the width is going to be 30 centimeters. So what I did with this fabric is I folded it in three equal pieces. So basically fold it twice to get three equal pieces like this. And yeah, then in the last case, so where I want my envelope section, so to speak, I just cut out these two triangles. So you just want a third of the length or you can just um, fold it all together and then measure 25 centimeters here. And then what you want to do is, again, I marked here where my middle is and I just cut out um, straight lines here so that it's symmetrical and neat. And yeah, the same thing I did on the colorful fabric that's going to be on my outside. And you can even see I ironed over this piece of fabric that can kind of stabilize this and make it sturdier. Okay, you guys, so here is our outside piece and we want the pretty side facing us. And then we're going to take our inside piece and we're going to do a pretty side on pretty side. So this time looking away from you. So basically what you want to have is the pretty side of the inside piece facing the pretty side here. And then here align everything and pin it together to keep it all in place. I'm using clothes pins, but you can also use regular pins if you prefer that. So if you're new to this, I would recommend regular pins just because they keep everything in place a little bit more secure. But of course, if you already have some experience, then you don't have to punch holes in your fabric and you can do clothes pins like I am. And yeah, now that we've done this, we can sew this all together into one piece. I just need a couple more pins and then I'll start with our stitches. And yeah, here on the bottom, I'm going to leave a little opening so that I can turn it inside out later. So I'm going to start here, go around this little corner and then go all the way up. And then, um, yeah, all the way to the next corner, um, then the top here. Um, so the little tip and then all the way back on the other side to the corner and then again leave an opening here. So after I stitched this up, I did this with all of the corners and I just basically cut off the leftover fabric outside of the stitch to make them look neater when we turn everything inside out. So you see here my opening that I left and it is pretty small. So I'm going to have to be really careful to not rip the stitches. If you did this the same way, then just make sure that you turn everything inside out slowly and patiently. After I turned this, I ironed over it a little bit just so it's 
straight and looking neat. And then you can see here the little opening that we need to close. And we're going to do this by simply doing a regular straight stitch across this side here. And that way we get a neater result, a little bit flatter look, and also we close up the opening. Make sure you go as close to the edge as possible without getting off of the fabric. Okay, so now that the opening is closed, then we can fold it into its shape. And you see here, um, it's a really simple clutch, so a really simple design too. And that way you just fold the one third inwards and then the other one as well. And yeah, you basically already get it. Now all you want to do is just align everything, make sure it's all where it's supposed to be. And then you can take um, pins and again, Keep it all together. You can iron over it this way one more time, but I think we can do it this way without ironing too. We do the same on the other side as well, and then we can get to the stitching. So we have a couple more layers this time on here and yeah, this is it. Now what we want to do is turn this the other way around and do a stitch across here to keep it all together and then on top just continue um, around the tip as well and then go on the other side. So basically just start from the bottom and go all the way until you reach the other corner on the other side. And that way you close up all of these sides here and this section is also a little bit flatter and looks nicer. And this is it you guys. So I hope you guys like it and you see how fast this was, how easy this was and you can definitely do it as a gift or even do it for yourself. And you can see you only need a couple of minutes and some fabric to do this. Of course, you can vary the size any way you like. You can do all kinds of different fabrics and you can even try out different styles, different types of fabric and just see what you like and what works best for you. So you can see in my case, I kept it real simple just so everyone can try it out. But of course, feel free to do buttons or a little Velcro on the inside to keep it closed. You can do all kinds of different things. Um, and yeah, you can even do multiple little decorative pieces just to make it a little bit more interesting. So that's completely up to you and how you want to do it. So I love this fabric here. So I think I'm going to keep it real simple just so the fabric is kind of um, the focal point. But yeah, you can see it's pretty thin as well. So um, it's really easy to take with you. And I think it looks very fashionable. I hope you guys enjoyed today's project. If you did, feel free to shoot us a thumbs up to let us know. You can also subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and you can also click on the notification bell and that way you'll never miss another video from us. So thanks for watching. See you in our next project. Bye.